Oh, so he says emergency. You thought it was gonna be a song I'm playing before and I didn't you? Nah, I just love how ominous and dramatic that you is. I just decided to let it play out. Besides, Stormbox 64 might be the best game in the series, but this one has the best music. Anyway, how's it going everyone? Jarvis Gaming here and as you can tell, we're playing Stormfox. Game that's been in my life for a long time. I right, better get used to that blaster sounds. You're gonna be hearing that more than anything else. Actually, this is my second time trying to record this because I'm using a different recording program, and even that's giving me difficulty. See? If you're watching this and you follow my channel, then it's most likely at the end of Budokai 3. And from there, you heard me complain about my recording issues. But I think I have this one all settled. All that's left is to just take care of it. Yeah, when I first played this game, I had a hard time understanding what that voice was saying. Okay, that was a very dumb collision. <laughs> and it wasn't until I just heard it now, playing with headphones, that you say emergency. For a while I thought it sounded like warning, but it didn't quite sound entirely right. Now I know why. It's because he's saying... Ow. Double L. Yeah. yeah, if I break, I can definitely hit it. As you saw, if you watch the screen, or if you know this game, I chose level 1 out of 3. There's basically three difficulties in this game, and they correspond to the different uh, paths of levels you can take. Basically, there's about super. But I forget what I was saying. I was tripping up all of my words. So, yeah, there's a training mode and there's some uh, bonus areas. But we're gonna check this out and have a, a bonus video. As for now. Yeah, that's right, we have barrel rolls in this game. It didn't originate with Star Fox 64. So now, we're handling the first balls. This is just like how this boss works in Star Fox 64. Now, if you hate me comparing this game a lot to Star Fox 64, I'm sorry, but it's just I have a lot more experience with that game. I might be a little rushed, that's simply because I'm re-recording this, and I didn't want to. 
pretty much only have it in about 30 or 40 minutes to record for the night and then I have to stop. So I want to fit this first video in at least. And we'll do the rest another time. Ninety-nine percent again! You got ninety-nine percent in my last attempt at this. Now that's all the way, let's get General Pepper a voice. And Jaws' forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy their rock crusher. Good luck. Look at that, force first person. To me all back in the day, and yes I know you can switch out, but I'm just gonna deal with it. Good shot. Yeah, some enemies you really just can't tell if you're hitting them or not. Dude, they all just burst into pieces if you defeat them. And they just blend in with the cosmos. Even these things. Of course it's you, Peppy. I mean, Slippy. Whew! How can I get those mixed up? And Slippy sounds just as pathetic here as he does in 64. So, no, no, that's where we have to. No, I thought there was another pair. Oh well. Yeah, this is so far pretty straightforward. Now, if I wanted to speedrun this, I, I could just keep boosting through it. But that's no fun. No, I got him. You be good. Did I? Oh, I just barely got it. Yeah, there's a spot if you were paying close of like three asteroids together in a triangle formation. If you fly right through the center, that uh, extra twin blast will come up. So now I can shoot snowballs, as I always like to call them. I first played this game back when I was eight years old. And I borrowed it from a friend, so I knew nothing of the story. I knew nothing of Fox's father, I didn't know who Andros was. It took me a long time to figure out who General Pepper was. Ah, yeah, you're not welcome. Take some of that. Good. Woo! Just dodge that one. Yo, I initially thought that Peppy was a girl when I played this game. It just sounded like one. But no, that confusion was all taken away in Star Fox 64 when he became an old man. Oh, I thought I got some people. Oh well. Let's go. Nope. There we are. That's not too bad. I probably described how to play the game. Well, you're seeing the game, which should be quite obvious. I always love imitating uh, Falco's voice when I was younger. It just sounded funny. It's like, Bodo Bodo Bodo. That's what I'm talking about. For those of you who not didn't know, credits or basically like continues when you run out of lives. You just restart from the beginning of the last stage, not the checkpoint. The Space Armada consists of powerful battleships. Destroy the energy cores. Good luck. I will do that for you, General. Now we go through this one weird warp into another space stage. It's no armage mode, so we're just going straight ahead.
And this is ain't nothing. And for most players, this would be their first time encountering... What do you call it? The Twin Blaster. By blowing up that one ship from the start. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Here, let's just get rid of them. I don't use bombs a lot, but I might as well use them here. I just use them when I feel like it. I almost never feel the need to. Yeah, yeah, Falco, let's do it. Call about business, no attitude. Now, if you're right in the center, you don't have to turn around to avoid getting hit. But you know, better safe than sorry. Ow, 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 ow. That's one core down. Let's go. Yeah, the shield is basically you can absorb damage for you. And then once it takes back, you start flashing between that and the regular R wing until you just become normal. But while you're flashing, you still got the invincibility. And it can restore your regular health. But I suppose this was replaced by the gold rings in Star Fox 64. Uh, here we go again, making the comparisons. <laughs> well, I can't help it, the sequel was just one of my all time favorite games. I even enjoyed Star Fox Zero a lot, unlike a lot of people. And damn, we lost it already? Now there's two different things we can hear. Right past you. There we go, Peppy, Retros, Fire Retros. And back in the day, I didn't know what this meant, so I just didn't do anything. But I know better these days that it means to use the break. Even back in here, we are being told to hit the brakes. Yeah, we're almost at the end here. And by almost, I mean we are. Let's go do a little bit of boosting. If those go on, we're almost there. Uh, I always thought the stage was just really freaking cool. Definitely my favorite level from this realm. But not my favorite boss. I actually think the boss is kind of annoying. Even at my uh, heightened skill level that I didn't have back in the days of my youth. Now this is something that's only people who have followed this channel since my early early days was that back in the early 2000s, I recorded some game walkthroughs on t to VHS tapes. The majority of which have been on YouTube. The other, so I think there's only three left that have not been. One because of techno issues and the other because each of one of them is missing a tape. Yeah, I had this delusion that I could make copies and sell them. But then YouTube came around and people who are much better at the games were doing it for free and for just for fun. It was a nice dream while it lasted. And we're just zooming on by here. Yeah, we're on autopilot here. Anyway. I wanted to record both Star Fox and Star Fox 64 at the same time. However, I still had to borrow the SNES version from somebody. Problem is, he couldn't find his copy, so I only ever recorded 64 to tape. Such a tragic end. Not really, because I recorded many more tapes. 
But really, I would only show these tapes these days for historical purposes. Because every single game I've recorded to tape, I can play much better, much more efficiently, much more concisely. Plus, with being uploaded online, I can handle things in a much more entertaining and organized way, even without my commentary. So there you go, a little piece of Jargus history that the world never knew before. Be sure to use your retros if you're going too fast. Be careful with my R-Wings. No, I always thought the R-Wings belonged to Fox and his crew. Since he came aboard the Great Fox and all. No, I guess they're Peppers. I guess he provided them for them. Or maybe he's paying for the maintenance. I don't know. Yeah, this stage when I tried playing it in my last recording just went all over the place. Like, by all over the place, I just mean I kept crashing and getting hit by everything and missing collecting all the power-ups and shields. I don't know why. Okay, that was my own chaos. I should have seen that coming. So far, I'm doing a hell of a lot better. And we're only just beginning. And if I was at the top of my game, I would still have my shield all the way until the end of the stage. Oh, these helicopters. Pain in the ass. You know, I tossed a bomb with them on screen and they were not destroyed by it. I have never seen that happen before. Here's for one up we're not gonna need. Even though I have the SNES Classic, as well as the um, Nintendo Switch Online, I'm still playing it off of here. By off of here, I mean this emulator. You know what, you also give me a nice, smooth 60 frames a second. I just feel like the game is just a little too janky on the SNES. We get shit slippy. I got him. That and plus the problems I'm having with my capture card, just messing up its recordings. Uh, maybe I could just use a different software because I have been trying a couple different things. Let's not a here nor there. Oh, you're not well. I can't say you deserve that. That's better for Peppy. Now, this thing... I think it's my favorite boss. I just think it's cool. First you shoot his legs, and then it starts... flying about. And it's invincible while it's flying. So you just gotta keep going back and forth, maybe up and down at some points. Then we do it again. This time the lays come out much more easily. This time they turn red, and it never does that again. Ow, 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 ow! That was painful. And once you take out some of them, starts doing this flamethrower. And it never gets his legs back either. And it just explodes from the inside. That wasn't so bad at all. You better all have no sweat. 
You have no damage. That's because I'm taking all the damage. <laughs> And draws the hiding on Venom. Fox, you must find a score brain and destroy it. Good luck. Yes, on Venom, which is why we're heading to Venom Airspace. Well, we got all these things to deal with. Oh, be quiet. In the first five seconds, you're, you're in here. Come on, let's do this. Nice. And nice. Yeah, sometimes you don't get an indicator. And like those guys have shields too. You know, this ain't like bulls where the shields is indefinite until you take out the towers. No, it's just you hit them a few times and never be reveal. Those out, and I missed the bomb. These stages seem to last a hell of a lot longer back in the day. Maybe it's because the game ran a little slower than it's optimized for them now. But oh well. Now, the boss here can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. But, it is nothing we cannot handle. Let's do it. Strange, I thought there was a thing that's supposed to be flying out. Oh, maybe we have to do it on something else. You yeah, see, it can split apart, which can be annoying. Wait, what, 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 what hit me? Oh, it's all his missiles. There we go. It almost looks like some sort of Pokemon, maybe a Dunspar is flying down there. <laughs> But, in all seriousness, if this battle goes along for too long, or I think maybe we just use a bomb, it results in choosing and takes up the whole screen, and it can just completely, completely kill you on one hit. I could probably look up what it is, but I've never quite understood it. I just know if I see that, the fight's over. This stage is just beginning. And that's not the most intense family can be. Far from it. That being said, aim the best it can be either. I'll aim wherever I please. Now you gotta watch the arrows on these things. The wall will appear whatever direction it's facing. But for these, you gotta be extra careful because... Well, not the last one, that's right in the center. It'll take up the whole screen if you don't do it right. Which means you'll crash and take damage. And if it's one of many crashes, then it might just break your wing. And we don't want to go down to having a single blaster right before the final boss, you know? Your aim. I'll just aim at whatever. Look at that draw a distance. I killed the enemy before it even showed up. Well, it was visible, I should say. Obviously, it showed up because it was there and I killed it. And let's keep going. 
We'll just boost by these. I think they move slower if you shoot them. But it's not a big deal. Whew, that was a close one though. Okay, that was my fault. Just me being reckless and careless. Too bad there's no power beyond that. Look at that, if you just hold the Y button, it shoots like four of them at once. But if you just keep tapping it, you still get a better rate of fire. Now this freaked me out the first time, I never expected there to be a second phase. Where he just grows just two legs and fights. Come on. I said, come on. Ow. Here's one move I hope he uses where he just kicks his whole leg at you. I guess that's a real mega kick. I was using it just so I can show off that it's on screen. first time I saw that, I was just in shock that that actually happened. Maybe because of the effect where it just left an after image behind. Is he gonna know? I thought I was gonna aim at him. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Woohoo! Ow. That's more like it. And he is down and out. Is this sort of like a somersault? Then why isn't the rest of the team helping us out? I mean, Fox did not say he was going alone. You don't sound like a robotic evil scientist, you just sound like, I don't know, an old man. A grumpy old man. Oh no. Those tin cans are no match for me. We will see about that. Yeah, Andros is like the other games. You shoot his eyes and then go for the core. These towels are nothing. Nothing. I'm almost here. So it's gonna be hard to hit the corner of the stage. Just a little bit more. And defeat. At this point the game is gonna be an autopilot. Yeah, only one boost, not like this epic fast dramatic boost like Venom 1 well this is the original Venom 1 <laughs> yeah, where were you while I was fighting the boss? were you just showing the other monkeys who's boss?
And here's all of our high scores once more. We did pretty good. It's only stage one now that was less than a hundred percent. Okay, stage six. But we were busy doing a lot of stuff in stage six. <laughs> That is so messed up. Average 99%. Just give me the 100, man. Cornelia. This is Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia. Man, the original General Pepper sounds more robotic than uh, Future Andros does. This is something more games should do, just a showcase of all the bosses and their abilities. I mean, Mega Man X did do that, but it was only on the stage select screen and it was scattered about. Now I have to wonder, on the size, what is the dimension uh, measured in? The world may never know. And half of these guys, their weapon is just laser. Yeah, you don't fight the core, you fight the entire base itself. So you're thinking that electrical thing is a laser? Here's my man, the Dancing Insector. That's the Fire Blaster. Andros probably made that name up himself. Well, Fantron, he certainly does sound like a phantom. Why can't any of them just say missile? Because, you know, lots of them shoot missiles, not just lasers. Ooh, that is a nice shot of lasers, too. And just caught on to Fantron, too. Should have been Fantron 2.0 or something like that. And you know what? I'm not going to show you the credits because we have more videos in this series. So I'll show you the credits at the end. But until then. It's been Jargus Gaming, thanks for watching, and we'll see you for level 2. Till then.